Hello, good morning, everybody. Hello? Everyone started? Yes, so good morning. Uh, good morning. Okay. Is everyone start recording? Right. Okay. So last class we spoke about the Bernoulli's equation. We derived the Bernoulli's equation. Also, we did a few problems on the, the Bernoulli's equation. That is, uh, what is the difference in datum energy and all that. Today, we are going to use, we are doing some problems on the applications of uh, Bernoulli's equation. That means, where are you going to use the Bernoulli's equation? Okay. If you see where we are using the Bernoulli's equation, you can, I'll just tell you, just open the notes, study material, what I have sent yesterday, in the smartphone to the, all your group. For some Mr. group, I'll send some study material. Please open the study material, all of you. Please open the study material, what I've sent in for some Mr. group. And uh, just check out what I've given. Okay. Meanwhile, I will start the uh, other topic. Okay. Now, what are the applications of uh, the Bernoulli's equation? Where do you apply the Bernoulli's principle? In which places you apply the Bernoulli's principle is the question. Okay. So we say that the Bernoulli's principle is uh, used universally. So where are we using? We have certain equipment where we are using the Bernoulli's. Venturi is meter and tube. Okay. So, hello? Yeah, due to some uh, internet problem, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Hello? Sir. Is proportional to the area or the diameter of the pipe. Okay, so these are the things that uh, you have to study. One is derivation of Venturi meter equation, derivation of the artifice meter equation. They might ask anyone. Venturi or RFS. Then after that, they will ask what is the, how to differentiate between Venturi meter and RFS meter. Okay, so you should say Venturi meter has got a, a converging diverging nozzle, whereas RFS meter only a hole or a plate will be there. When you have Peter tube, it is nothing but a 90 degree tube. If you put it inside, you can find the velocity of flow. And velocity of flow V is equal to root of 2G into H. Okay. You can find the velocity which is equal to root two G into H. Okay. Any doubts in this so far? Any doubts? Huh? <coughs> Any doubts? Any doubts, please? Yes, Chaitanya. No, sir, no doubt. No doubts. So two things you have, one is Venturi meter, another RFS meter. They will give either derivation of discharge in Venturi meter or RFS meter or a problem on Venturi meter and RFS meter. Okay? Okay, we'll do the problems after this, after the derivation. Any doubts in this, please? You don't have any doubts, right? Hello? Venturi meter and RFS meter. Okay? Any doubts? Okay, we'll continue for that. Now, we have, a, okay, we have a, what is called as a friction loss in a pipe. Okay, See, I'm taking the attendance because I want to know who is not coming at all. That's why I'm taking the attendance. So, attendance is compulsory. So, until uh, the college opens, we are doing online, we have to take the attendance. So I'm taking the attendance also. Please tell your friends, those who are not attending, 
to attend the classes regularly okay okay now coming to the point now you find that if there is a flow if there is a flow you observe that in a pipe if there is flow you observe one thing there is friction there is friction friction might be due to the fluid particles or it could be due to the boundary in the pipe or the walls of the pipe there could be friction so basically there are two types of friction one is called a major loss the other is called a minor loss now major loss is major loss is due to friction majority of the loss is only because of friction friction between the molecules or friction between the fluid and the pipe wall or the boundary so this is uh, called friction major loss is called friction then what is minor loss minor loss is nothing but the loss due to the bend or enlargement or contraction of the pipe you might have observed if the pipe is say 20 diameter for a certain length then suddenly the diameter increases to 50 mm then what happens due to that enlargement there will be a small loss of fluid or water molecule similarly if there is a contraction if the pipe is 20 mm it reduces to 10 mm then there is a contraction and if there is a bend 90 degree bend you see in your house pipeline and all they put 90 degree bend it's called a elbow when they do that also as the fluid takes the turn through 90 degrees and comes down you find there is a loss so these losses due to contraction enlargement and elbow all these things are called minor losses because they are small in number whereas the friction loss is called the major loss okay so flow through pipes there is major loss which is called the friction now for uh, friction head loss due to friction two people have suggested the equation one is darcy so it's called darcy's equation the other is called shazy so two people have derived one is darcy's equation another is shazy's equation now darcy's equation for head loss due to friction i think i given to you just see the material what study material i given to you and shazy's equation also i given to you darcy's equation and shazy's equation also both are given to you okay so darcy's equation derivation is there finally you will get head loss due to friction hf is equal to 4 fl v square by 2 gd where f is friction coefficient l is length of the pipe v is the velocity d is the diameter of the pipe so the head loss due to friction is uh, shown in terms of head of water the head loss due to friction is shown in terms of head of water hf hf okay so hf is equal to 4 fl v square by 2 gd derivation i want you to study this derivation and then come to me if there are any doubts i have given you the study material just see that the final value of the darcy waste back equation is 4 fl v square by 2 gd hf head loss due to friction is 4 fl v square by 2 gd given length of the pipe given the velocity and the diameter of the pipe you can find the head loss due to friction this is called darcy's equation i want you to study this derivation and then if there are any doubts come to me darcy's equation or shazy's equation they will ask in the exam also okay then coming to shazy's equation it's a very small derivation the final value is v is equal to c into root m i velocity is equal to c into root of m into i okay so m into i is uh, what you call as the shazy's equation v is equal to c into root m i now where uh, we have the i is equal to f into v square by 2 mg and uh, you can find the value okay v is equal to c root m i given the constant c in the value v equal to c root m i c is called the shazy's constant so if they give the value of shazy's constant you can find what is the velocity at that point then from there you can calculate what is the friction and all that okay so i told you two kinds of friction are there major loss minor loss minor loss in pipes are due to sudden enlargement you can see i have given the figure there see the pipe is enlarging therefore there is head loss so the value of head loss is given here 
k into 1 minus a1 by a2 whole, whole square divided by v1 square by 2g. Then, minor loss due to sudden contraction. The pipe is becoming smaller. So, there I have hc is equal to 0.5 v2 square by 2g. And head loss uh, due to elbow uh, is h is equal to k into v2 square by v square by 2g. So, what I mean to say here is the following things. First one, where we are using the Bernoulli's principle in venturi meter and in orifice meter. We have to derive the venturi meter equation. We will find the discharge in the venturi meter. So, given A1 and A2 and the diameter you can, of the pipe, you can find discharge in venturi meter. Then, orifice meter. Orifice meter is an orifice or a circular hole or a plate. It does not have a converging diverging nozzle. Therefore, the difference in uh, venturi and orifice is that the in venturi you have converging diverging nozzle, in orifice you have only a small a round plate hole. Then you can find the discharge in orifice meter, discharge in venturi meter. These two instruments are used to measure discharge and they work on the Bernoulli's principle. Then you have two different kinds of losses. One is called major loss, other is called minor loss. See, in your next uh, uh, year of fluid mechanics lab, you will be conducting experiments on major loss and minor loss also. Okay. So, major loss is head loss due to friction. Minor loss is head loss due to contraction, enlargement due to bend, elbow, and all that. So, these are the major and minor losses. Then, to find the value of friction, major loss due to friction, Darcy's equation is used. You have to derive the Darcy's equation and show that uh, the friction, head loss due to friction, HF, is equal to 4 FLV square by 2G, 2GD. Okay, so you can find friction. Then you can use Shazy's equation, C is equal to root MI. Please go through the derivation of Darcy's equation and Shazy's equation. If you don't understand, Please come back to me. I will discuss and I will tell you what are the uh, things that you need to be. Uh, I mean, I can clear your doubts regarding the uh, whatever uh, derivation pro problem, if you find any problem in derivation. Okay. So the important things are venturi meter derivation, the RCC equation derivation, orifice meter derivation, and CAGC equation derivation. These four derivations. You should know. Once you do that, you can find. Okay. Once you do that, you can derive the all the four things you can do. That is Darcy, Shazy, Venturi meter, and Orifice meter. All the four things you can. Uh, the derivation of all the four things is there in your syllabus. So in V2, they will ask usually. Uh, usually, V2 will ask derivation of Darcy's equation also. So please go through that and uh, once we do this, uh, uh, I think I'll just check up. We are in the third module and uh, if we complete uh, this portions, then we'll be completing, uh, I think only some more portion, I'll just tell you. We are in the third module now, fluid dynamics. So we have finished introductions, forces acting on fluid, Euler's equation, integration of Euler's equation to obtain Bernoulli's equation, assumptions and limitations of Bernoulli's equation, introduction to Navier-Stokes equation that I have to do, and application of Bernoulli's theorem to venturi meter, artifice meter, pitot tube, etc. Okay. So we have. Uh, then flow through circular pipe. Then what is friction loss? Head loss due to friction. Darcy and Chase's equation. Major and minus loss. Okay. So we have completed a sufficient amount of topics in the module 3. And uh, 
only one more topic is there poiseuille's equation i will just introduce the poiseuille's equation and then uh, leave it at that that will complete the module 3 okay so next class i'll be completing module 3 and i will start module 4 okay uh, any doubts in this please any doubts in this yes any doubts please jent chaitanya <clears throat> hello no sir yeah so the, the important things in this i have given you the study material also important things application of bernoulli's equation that is venturi meter orifice meter derivation of discharge for venturi meter derivation of discharge for orifice meter then coming to the next one second yeah coming to the next one that is uh, we have head loss due to friction that is major loss and head loss due to contraction enlargement and bend which is called minor loss so head loss due to friction is given by two equations one is called darcy's equation the other is called shage's equation so you have to derive darcy's equation it says that head loss due to friction hf is equal to 4fl square by 2gd then we have to calculate the we have to derive the shage's equation also uh, it says that v is equal to c into root mi where c is the shage's constant please go through the derivation of darcy and shage's equation given you the study material then this is what we have covered today and uh, this is quite sufficient for you just uh, one more topic poiseuille's equation i will just give a, introduce and uh, next class i will do that once i give the introduction to the poiseuille's equation then uh, it will be the third module will be completed now is there any doubt yeah tell me yes any doubt Ashtesh, Arthike. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go to the derivation and I'll, um, I'll get back. Yeah, yeah, just go to the derivation all of you. I'll give the study material. Next class you can discuss. If you have any doubts, uh, I'll clarify it for you. So, uh, this if we finish this, uh, I will uh, be completing the third module. And uh, next class, I'm, yeah, next class I'm planning to start the fourth module. Sir? Next class, this third module will be completed. Next class, I am planning to do the fourth module. Any doubt in this? Anybody? Any doubts, you can tell me. Please go through and let me know. Okay. And uh, I would like to tell one thing. Many of you have not submitted the assignment still. Please enter into Google Classroom and upload your assignments. Assignment is not yet done. Many people have not yet done the assignment still. Okay, last date is over. Remember, after this date, you will not, the, you will be losing marks. It was always already late. Okay, please see that you do the assignment as early as possible. I am giving you sufficient time. But students, please see that you complete the assignment because you will lose marks unnecessarily. Don't do that. Okay. So I don't want you to do that. Please see that you do the assignment and submit in the Google Classroom. And you can see that many people have done it already. Uh, Sir, the same assignment. Yet to do it. Yeah, first assignment. Yeah. Sir, you've sent the assignment twice. No, no. Twice means there was a problem. See, First assignment about the manometer and I mean the second assignment, manometer, two problems and all I given. No, that is the yes, assignment. Sir. Because the other yes. one on meta center is not an assignment because it's a solved problem only. No, yes, you sir. don't have to do anything with that. It is a study yes, material sir. actually. Correct? No, yeah, no, sir. The so that, uh, that meta center and all yeah. that manometer thing only you had sent it twice, sir. I submitted to you one of the, the latest one. That's it. Oh, okay. okay. Anyway, your name is coming now. You got your scores now. <coughs> yes, sir. Yeah, then it's okay. Leave it. The, okay. the, I'm considering one assignment this time. Another assignment, yeah. I'll give uh, later. Another one. Next time. Yes, sir. Okay. So, all of you are getting your scores correctly. You are able to see your scores now in the assignment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
okay okay so we can do one thing then uh, you can, will continue with this and uh, next class i will complete module 3 okay third module will be completed next class so my assignment still not turned in so you haven't uh, graded it yet okay can i just check no, what do you know? Uh, in the day, I'll sit once in the evening or something. I'll look at all the mails and then turn it in. Okay? No problem. Yes, sir. If you, are, you have put in your this thing, it will come to me. No problem. Yes, sir. Okay? I'll just check it and I'll just wait. Maybe evening, I'll just finish it up and send it to you. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, what else? So see that you all of you do the assignment and send it to me. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Any other doubts? Please go through this uh, study material. What I given the derivation. I told you in fluid mechanics, one derivation, one problem. Usually it will be like that. Please go through the derivations and problems. It will be fine, and you can answer the questions easily. Also. Okay. So next class, I will start the fourth module. Those are not an assignment one. Please do it immediately and send it. I will just check it and send it back. Okay. If there are any other uh, questions, any other doubts, just go through their syllabus also. You will understand how much you have completed. Anything remaining, you just let me know. We can do it. So next class, I will start the fourth module. Okay. Any doubts? And Ashtesh, Kare, Chinmay? No doubt, sir. Okay. okay. So please, all of you go through that and uh, let me. Okay. So if uh, everything is over, we'll, uh, we'll close the class. Okay. We'll end the class. We'll conclude. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we'll conclude. Thank you, and uh, yeah, thank you. Tarun?